everybody, it's Dana. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to make a quick card. I'm going to use the Daniel Smith Extra Fine Watercolor Dots. I love, love, love these dots. And there's enough paint on here to make plenty of cards before you go ahead and buy a big pack. So I'm just going to use some Canton watercolor paper here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, use some tape and I'm going to tape this down. This will keep my paper from warping when I uh, need to heat it with my heat gun. Now you can skip this step and just go ahead and do it without it. But in this case, I'm a little bit lazy today. <laughs> I don't want my paper to warp. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use some of that painter's tape. Now you can also use washi tape with this. It's totally up to you. I just happen to have the painter tape on hand. So we're gonna go ahead and use that today. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I tape down the sides. And I love watercolor, and I think it's one of the best ways to make an easy and quick card. All right, I'm going to put that down, and now I'm going to come in with my water. And we're going to go ahead and use a round brush for this technique. This one is a number six round brush, so it's kind of big. All right, so let me go ahead and grab one of the sheets, and I'm going to use uh, maybe two or three colors off these sheets. So I'm going to go in first with um, just some water. So I really want to get this wet before I actually start dropping in the color. So this way the color is just going to uh, run. So I'm going to grab some of this blue. And like I said, you can really make a lot of cards just off of just this little, little bit of paint that we have on here. So as you see, because I already had the water down, the color started to really run for me. I'm gonna grab in some of that orange, just a little bit of it, and I'm gonna dab it right next to that blue. And I'm just gonna work it all in. I'm gonna let the, the water do the work for me. Now at this point, I'm gonna come in with a little bit more of that bluey green, and I'm gonna pop that right there and the water is really helping everything move. I'm going to clean up my brush and I want to go ahead and grab a little bit more of that orange. Just going to put it right around that blue because the blue and the orange is kind of giving me like a green shade. So that could be like my middle tone. All right, I'm just going to spread that out a little bit just so I get good coverage. I think that looks pretty good. And now I'm gonna go ahead and heat it with my heat gun. Now I'm gonna make sure my gun was really, really hot before I took it to the paper. I'm just gonna go ahead and let that do its work. All right, now since that is dry, I'm gonna come back in and add just a little bit of that orange right back to the center. It kind of faded out a little bit too much for me, so I just want to quickly add some back in. And I'm also going to add some water just to kind of get it to move a little bit. This is gonna be a masculine card, so I don't need to go crazy on color. And now I'm just gonna flick on some huge droplets of water. This is gonna kind of give like that splattered look, and it's also gonna be move some of the color for me, but it's gonna make a really cool background as well. I'm also gonna grab some of that blue, and I'm gonna flick that on too. I like flicking. It just makes a card look fun. And it's not messy, it's creative. <laughs> Just a little bit more water. I think that looks good. Now I'm gonna grab a paper towel and I'm just gonna soak up some of that extra water. Just so I kind of have like the droplets left behind. And that's what I'm going for. Really nice and simple. All right, so now we can go ahead and start removing the painter's tape. Now, like again, I said you could have used washi, whatever you wanted to use, or you could have just totally skipped this, like I said, but I wanted my water, I mean my water, my cardstock rather, to kind of stay flat. I didn't want to have to worry about a lot of the warping. So really cool background, right? All right, so next, let's come in with a really large sentiment. So I'm going to use this one. This is called Written in Watercolor by My Favorite Things, and this is a male birthday card. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that large uh, birthday, happy birthday sentiment. I really like this sentiment because it's big and it's graphic. I'm gonna grab my VersaFine ink and I'm also gonna grab this Fiskars Press. I really like using this Fiskars Press because it gives you 
a little bit of time before you're actually pressing down onto your project. So you can kind of like hover over, make sure you have it in the right spot before you actually press it down. So if you guys haven't um, used one of these Fiskars, you should give it a try because I really, really like it. Like I said, it just gives you that little bit of split second before you actually press down. So I'm going to go right over it, kind of look where I'm at, and then I can press down. And I'm going to press down pretty firmly because you guys know me. I like to get a good first impression the first time. Now, because my paper is still a little bit damp, I'm going to get not a crisp impression, and that's what I'm looking for. I got a good impression, but it's still a little spotty. And I kind of like that because it really does look like it could have been, you know, handwritten. All right, so next I want a stitched frame around this card. I could have just trimmed it down, but I actually wanted to have some stitching around the birthday. So I'm going to grab my, um, my Sizzix machine here, and I'm just going to line that frame up. Again, I could have easily just cut this, but... I wouldn't, I don't know, for this card, I want a little bit of a decorative edge and me just cutting wasn't just gonna work for me. So that's why I'm gonna go ahead and use this die. I will list all of the supplies in the bottom near the comments, just in case you guys wanna get your hands on some of it. All right, so once that's rolled through, we can go ahead and finish up the card. Now look, I made a huge boo-boo. I put down a painter's tape and my um, card was not dry, but we're gonna fix that because voila, there's washi tape. <laughs> and this is a nice masculine washi tape and it matches the greeny blue that I got going on. So I'm gonna cover up my boo-boo. Nobody's gonna know, but me and you. <laughs> I'm just gonna cover up that mistake and I'm just gonna go ahead and fold that around. All right, so now the recipient's really not going to know that I made a boo-boo because it's just going to kind of blend in with the look I was going for. <laughs> All right, so now you guys know me. I like everything on a white card base. That's just my preference. Easier for me to write inside instead of adding another panel. So we've heard that story several times, right? All right, so I'm just going to crease that down the middle. And then this card is going to be coming together rather quickly after this. Just gonna crease it down the side. And I think I want my sentiment to stand up a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some foam tape. And I, I just like using foam tape. I'm gonna cut this down the middle because it's really, really wide and I can get double duty out of this um, wider uh, mounting tape, or double-sided tape. All right, so I'm gonna press that side down there and I'm gonna press that side down there. I just like to have, even if I'm just doing one panel, I just like sometimes having just that little bit of um, rise in my card instead of just it being flat. Now it's easier to go through the mail sometimes when you have less bulk to your card, but I'm not concerned about this one. It's, it's going to a friend right here in Florida. So I think I'll be okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and press that down and then we can go ahead and finally put this panel on a card. And see how easy it was, you guys? Watercoloring, it makes such effortless cards. If you guys aren't watercoloring, you really should give it a try. I really think you'll love it. All right, we can pop that down and we are done. Check it out, a great little masculine birthday card. I will see you guys back here soon, okay? You guys have a fantastic weekend, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. And here is a list of all of my social media outlets. Don't forget to subscribe because you're not going to want to miss a thing. I will see you guys soon. Take care.